Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome. I, I feel like John Oliver from last week tonight. So if you are uh, just jumping on here, I am super, super excited. So if you're jumping on here, say hi. Jump on the comment section and just say hello, howdy. Um, we always like to know who's jumping on here. Melinda, welcome. I, I'm actually coming up to your neck of the woods here in a little bit. So uh, no, I'm not. What am I talking about? I got my, Mel I got my Melinda's wrong. Um, <laughs> sorry, Melinda. Uh, hey, guys, if you're jumping on here, want to say howdy. Brad, welcome. Appreciate you being on here, boss. Hey, we are going to start here in like 25 seconds. Luann DiBiase, I got Waterman in the house. I got BJ from Wyoming. I got Kirk in the house. Um, welcome, guys. Uh, if you want to jump on and say hi, put welcome or hello or howdy and uh, down, in the, uh, down in the comment section, down in the comment section or whatever. Tracy, welcome from Corona. Awesome. Uh, Chris, welcome. Okay, guys, hey, here's the scoop. Uh, I actually uh, put this comment in the comment section because I want to talk to you for a second. Here's the deal. I Matt Skinner, oh my gosh, dude, I know I owe you a phone call. I absolutely know I owe you a phone call. Uh, you will get that phone call uh, very shortly in the next day or so, I promise. I promise, I promise. Um, okay, guys, so here's the deal. When I go out and I speak at events, here's what normally happens. I am fascinated by this, and I don't know why. So I'm just gonna call it, and this is gonna be a pretty short video. It's gonna, I'm hopefully gonna be under 10, um, 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, Didi Patey, welcome. I, Didi and I went to elementary school together in Northwood Elementary up in Puyallup, Washington of all things. So Didi, welcome, I hope you're feeling better. I saw um, that you fell down some stairs, and uh, I hope you're feeling much, much better now. So, oh yeah, I stalk you, Didi. Um, okay guys, so here's the deal, check this out. When I go work with business owners, I just got back from Sydney, Australia yesterday morning uh, at six o'clock in the morning off of a very plain, uh, very long plane ride. And I look, here's the deal. I talk to business owners all day, every day. It's what I do, right? I have a coaching program out here in uh, out here where I've got a, we've got businesses in all cross all cross sections of uh, of business. I just got back from content and commerce where we had three thousand business owners there. I talk to business owners all the time, and it really comes down to this. At the end of the day, most businesses rely, and I mean rely, on word of mouth referrals. I mean, to the point where like Tempur-Pedic Mattress relies on word of mouth referrals. A lot of businesses in your local chamber of commerce or your BNI group or your team or Latip or Kiwanis, even online marketing, we rely on word of mouth referrals. As a customer, we like knowing that our friends recommend something, right? Think of it from the movie business even, right? In the movie business, you go see a movie, do you trust a trailer? Eh, maybe. Do you trust a reviewer? Maybe if you uh, have been reinforced by their word of mouth. You are more likely to go see a movie if your friend tells you that, um, that the movie was great, right? Your quote, friend, and whether that's a social media friend, whether that's a partner friend, whether that's just your best friend, whatever. Okay, so most businesses rely on word of mouth referral. Now, here is the part that I can't really um, grasp. Okay, so if most businesses are based on word of mouth referral, meaning you want friends and family to talk about your business, okay, here's my first question Are you actually, and I mean actually, aware of who your top three, five, ten referral partners are? If you're just hoping and praying that people continue to do this referral process, then we better have a chat, okay? So I'm gonna tell you ahead of time right now that there are gonna be a bunch of you that, um, there are gonna be a bunch of you that rely on word of mouth referrals, yet you don't know who those people are that are actually referring business to you. And worse than you not knowing who they are is knowing who they are, but not having them programmed in your phone, not having their email address, not having them uh, in your phone. Worse even than not knowing and worse even than knowing is knowing who they are and not taking care of them. Okay, knowing who they are and not taking care of them. And so look, here's the deal you guys, in October, this is the month, and I want to help you. I want to help you do this, okay? So here's the deal. 
we have got to start sending out thank you love to our customers and clients because if we were um, if we want them to refer their friends family and network back to us and they're great customers then we've got to take care of them more than ever before with all the bullshit that's going on in the world right now sometimes a little love can just help somebody refer people back a little love can acknowledge people it really can set people off right so here's the deal I just wanted to take a few moments and say look if your business is based on word-of-mouth referral if you're in network marketing if you're in direct sales if you're in real estate if you're in digital magazine creation Karen Glasser um, if you're in real estate investment Matt Skinner um, if you're in Cheryl insurance right wherever you are shoddy a magic um, if wherever you are in your business if you don't have a mechanism to take care of the people that support and send you business you are leaving heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of business on the table okay now I uh, uh, 10 years ago I got involved with a company that helps systematize that process and taking care and showing love to your customers okay now you're gonna hear me talk about this for the whole month because I'm working on a major promotion uh, within the context of that company okay so this company allows you and teaches you how to share and show love to your company uh, to your prospects to your customers and especially your referral partners okay so look, here's the deal. I meet people all the time and I actually do this exercise. The exercise is I have people stand up if their business is 90% or more based on word of mouth referral. The whole room will stand up and raise, raise uh, stand up. Then I say sit down if you can't tell me the top three referral partners in your business, meaning the people that are actually sending you business based on customer accounts, based on not thinking, data-based conversations. Okay, almost everybody else sits down, but then some cocky ones will stand up like, oh, I know who they are, right? And they'll be standing up. I'll say, great, give me your phone and show me the last time you showed them love. If I called those three people right now on your phone, because now you have them in your phone, if I called those three people, would they tell me that you love on them? Would they tell me that you love them, uh, a love on them over and over and over again? And most people say, of course they will. And I'll say, great, how do you do that? How do you show that? They'll say, oh, well, we do good customer service. That doesn't cut it, folks. Just doesn't cut it. Good customer service, you're out of business if you don't do customer service, right? But what keeps you in business is taking those people that are referring you partners, referring you business, especially because you want their networks to come back as well, especially if they're good people because um, birds of a feather flock together, right? Now what we got to do is we got to show them that we love them. I can help you do that. All I'm going to ask you to do, guys, is send me a private message. And look, for 15 bucks, I'll show you how to do that. Okay? Super easy. But private message me, and uh, I'll walk you through that if you want. If you've got a mechanism in place that allows you to show your customers love, then use it. This is the month. We're going into fourth quarter. We're going into uh, a huge, a huge Christmas season. Let's make this the best one yet. If you're based on word of mouth referral and oh and you don't have a way to show your referral partners that you actually love them and I mean by like sending them a greeting card sending them a thank you card sending them a basket of stuff then hit me up private message and just say hey I'd love to see this and uh, let me show you how to do it super easy so with that guys I wanted to keep this video under 10 minutes thanks for jumping on I really appreciate it and uh, private message me I'm looking forward to having a chat okay guys have a great day I appreciate you more than you know. I'm filled with gratitude, and I know uh, that you have 10,000 things you could be doing today, and the fact that you've hung out with me for 10 minutes, I, I appreciate it. Love you. Thank you so much, and uh, if you private message me, we're going to have a chat, and I'm going to tell you this. Me thanking you for spending 10 minutes with me, you're going to get some brownies in the mail, okay? So if you want some brownies, it's just a chocolate sugar high bribe, uh, hit me up, private message. With that, guys, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Ciao.